Hello my dear children hmm from your ear to your smile i have come to know that you all are happy and healthy good now tell me what are the places that you have been to in your own country india okay let me ask you have you ever been to kashmir or have you ever been to yes rajasthan okay what are the places that you visited there all right jaipur jodhpur bikaner very good yes some of you are already living in rajasthan i know this children today from your environmental studies book looking around we will read the story of amrita in this chapter we will read the story which is 300 years old this story belongs to amrita who lived at kejerli village near jodhpur in rajasthan all right children before we start reading and understanding of a chapter let me ask you a simple but important question what is environment come on tell me yes everything that surrounds us is called environment for example hmm animals plants society good now let's start our chapter named the story of amrita This is a true story from long long ago almost 300 years ago in a village called Kejerli lived Amrita Kejerli village is near Jodhpur in Rajasthan the village got its name because of the many kejeri trees that grew there children if we go to Rajasthan there we can see sand everywhere but kejri trees are found easily and in galore in rajasthan see here kejri trees these trees don't need much water to grow this is a reason they grow in rajasthan and yes it is the state tree of rajasthan now find the trees around you which are in galore okay Now let's go on with our reading. The people of this village took great care of the plants, trees and animals. Goats, deer, hares and peacocks roamed fearlessly there. The people of the village remembered what the elders used to tell them. They used to say अगर पेड़ है तो हम हैं प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स कैन सर्वाइव विदाउट अस बट वी कैन नॉट सर्वाइव विदाउट देम यस चिल्ड्रन विलेजर्स ऑफ केजरली वर एनवायरनमेंट लवर्स एंड दे न्यू एंड दे न्यू द ट्रूथ दैट इट्स वी हु नीड द ट्रीज टू लिव ट्रीज डोंट नीड अस टू लिव यस trees give us oxygen to breathe and if there were no trees we would not have any life so be the environment lovers just like the kejerli villagers save and spread greenery all around love animals too now let's see who are amrita's friends Amrita would get up early every morning and greet her friends the trees. She would choose a special tree for the day. She would put her arms around the tree trunk and whisper to the tree, "Friend, you are strong and beautiful. You care for us. Thank you, tree. I love you very much. Give you strength to me also." Like Amrita the other children also had their special trees they would play for hours in the shade of the trees Have you got any trees as your friend 
Okay, some of you have. Good. And those who don't have, do have like Amrita and the other children of Khejar Leverett. Yes, my dear learners, apart from giving oxygen to us, trees give us lots of other things too. Can you tell? Absolutely. Fruits, vegetables, shade. Very good. Oh my God, some of you are telling me that trees teach us to be strong in any situation. Absolutely right, my children. So, we should water the plants, yes, daily. Little Amrita turns into big Amrita. And how she reacted on seeing trees in danger? Let's see. Trees in danger. Time went by. Amrita was now grown up. One day, she went to greet her trees. She saw that there were some strangers in her village. They had axes with them. They said that the king had sent them to cut trees for wood. The wood was needed for building the king's palace. Raja of Jodhpur sent his men to Amrita's village to cut the trees. As he wanted wood of Khejri trees for his palace, as soon as King's men reached Khejarli village with their axes, yes, this is an axe, Amrita was about to greet her three friends. When she saw them, they told her that they would cut the trees as per King's orders. Now let's read further. Amrita was shocked. She went to the tree that the men were about to cut. She put her arms around the tree and hugged it tightly. The men shouted and threatened her. But Amrita did not let go of the tree. The king's men had to follow his order. They had to cut the tree. On seeing this, Amrita's daughters and hundreds of villagers, old and young, hugged the trees to protect them. Many people, including Amrita and her daughters, died to save the trees. When the king heard of this, he could not believe that people gave up their life for trees. He visited the village himself. There he learned about villagers, respect for trees and animals. Yes, my dear children, Amrita on seeing all this said, that trees were her life and nobody could cut them. Then she hugged the trees tightly, which was about to cut by the king's men. She was shouted at and threatened too, but Amrita did not leave the tree. The king's men had to follow the orders. They attacked Amrita along with the tree. With Amrita, her daughters and hundreds of villagers too lost their lives in saving the trees. This news of losing lives for the trees reached to the king. Then king visited village and saw the respect and love the villagers had for the trees. Yes, king moved by all these. What king did? Let's see and read. The village is protected. The villagers' strong feelings for trees affected the king greatly. He ordered that from then on no tree would be cut and no animal would be harmed in that area. Even today, almost 300 years later, the people of this area called Pishnois continue to protect plants and animals even though in the middle of the desert this area is green and animals roam freely without fear. So here we saw that the king banned the cutting of trees and hunting of animals in Kejarli village. Even after 300 years later, the people of this village continued to be the environment lovers. They love plants and animals so much that for this, they are called Pishnois even today. 
the Vishnois love for environment keep this area of theirs green in the midst of the desert. Isn't it great children? Yes, it is. Now it's time to answer the questions by choosing the right options. So are you ready? Good, here we go. Our first question is, who were Amrita's friends? Your options are peacock, village children, plants and trees. Come on, choose the right option. Very good, plants and trees. Why did the king want to cut down the trees? Your options are the wood was needed for the palace, the trees got old, the villagers of Kajarli were king's enemies. None of these. Come on, think and tell. Well done, the wood was needed for the palace. What did villagers do to save the trees from cutting? Your options are They snatched the axes They hugged the trees tightly They bowed down before the king All of these Very good! They hugged the trees tightly What is the name of the trees? that are grown in Amrita's village. Your options are Neem, People, Kejri, Banyan. Come on, tell me. Yes, Kejri. Very good. Now here we have to fill the blanks. Think and tell the right answers. Okay, my dear children. So here we go. In childhood, Amrita used to tell trees to give her their dash. Think and tell. Yes, strength. Very good. Amrita used to ask for trees. Strength. Very good. Kejerli village is near Dash city. Come on, come on. Think, think, think. Very good, Jodhpur. Even after 300 years, the people of Kejarli are called Dash. Yes, Bishnois. King ordered that no one would cut Dash in Kejarli. Come on, think. Very good, trees. Good going, my dear children. Now we have true or false. Let's start. Amrita and her companions lost their lives in saving trees. True or false? Hmm, true. Today, Kajarli village has turned into a desert. True or false? False. Absolutely. Bishnois make this area still a green area. Very good. The story of Amrita is 300 years old. True or false? True. Very good. When the king got to know about the love and respect for the plants and animals that the people had in Kajarli, he banned the cutting of trees and hunting of animals. True or false? Absolutely true. Very good. So, here is the end of the exercise. If I talk a little more about Kajri trees with you children, it is amazing to know that apart from growing in desert areas, Yes, the bark of the trees are used for making medicines. People cook and eat their beans. The wood is not affected by insects. The leaves of these trees are given as a fodder to the animals. 
Yes, yes, the children like you play in the shade of these trees. So isn't it an amazing dream? Yes, it is. So children, our chapter here ends. But you should keep your friendship on with the trees. Be environment lovers. Now it's time to say bye-bye. Stay healthy and happy always.